Good morning. It's 3.30. I'm wearing my long pajamas because I faked hand last night. <laughs> and obviously not well. <laughs> okay, this hand was alright, but I don't know what happened. Anyways, let's make some coffee. I have a lot to do this morning. Well, I'll tell you in a second. So yeah, I have a lot to do this morning because I'm leaving for DC. What the hell is happening? The Okay, like I was saying, I'm leaving for DC straight from work. I'm just going for one night to see my mom real quick. But that means that I have to be packed and have everything ready in like an hour. I had a dream that I owned a Chick-fil-A and like one of the perks that came with the Chick-fil-A was not gaining any weight from any of the food. So vivid. I was just eating. Oh, is today Sunday? It, it, that always happens. I was really thinking, wow, like I could totally go for a freaking spicy chicken sandwich with pepper jack cheese. Nope. All right, I'm ready. I was just live on TikTok for a while. I sometimes do it, but I forget most of the time. So try and do that as much as possible. Um, Cause people like to see my crazy hours. Finish my makeup. I'm just gonna leave my hair as is. I curled it yesterday. It looks fine. We're not gonna mess with it. Now I have to go fold some laundry at 4.15 in the morning because I have to pack some stuff for DC. What if I do this to myself? I should have done this last night. I just got to work. I'm filling out my forecast sheet. This is what we use, seven day, hour by hour. And then this is like almanac, almanac type stuff. I don't know how you say it, but it's recording like yesterday's high and low, the normal high and low and our record. Um, just for funsies, I don't know, just to see if we're getting close to a record or something of the sort. So yesterday we hit 55, which I got that on the money, nailed that, normal 62, blah, 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 you get it. Um, I'm just going to do all this stuff, I got to record the phone forecast, and yeah, we go on at 6 a.m., I'm just going to fill this out, and... I'll see you when the show starts. Yesterday's official high 55 degrees, but today we're forecasting 61. That's why I put that blue check on today's forecast. I think it's going to be really nice outside and we'll see tons of sunshine as well. So a great day overall this evening. If you have any outdoor plans, if you wanted to go eat outside or grill something on your patio yourself, uh, great for that as well. All right, it's 10.03. The show's just ended like literally three minutes ago. Um, I brought some clothes with me to change into <laughs> so I don't have to go back home and makeup wipes so we're gonna take off my makeup real quick so it was a pretty chill morning um I was thinking about this while I was doing the weather today and I was like this is kind of an interesting part of the job maybe something that people don't think about all the time since we ad lib since meteorologists don't read scripts we ad lib everything we say it just comes off the top of our head we have to think about a different way to say things almost every single time we're up there because we aren't reading a script, but some things you say repeatedly, you know, the high today 61, stuff like that, but we have to find ways to mix it up every time so it doesn't sound like we're saying the same thing over and over. So that's kind of a difficult part of the job sometimes because I don't want to sound like a broken record, you know? Also, I already had breakfast this morning, but I'm like, should I go to McDonald's? Like an egg McMuffin? I don't know. I'll have to call my mom. Because, yeah, I'll have to see what she's doing. Because if she's going to eat something better than McDonald's for lunch, I'm going to wait. But if not, I'm going to go. <laughs> right, I just got to my parents' house. And I'm going to let up my dog. But... He's not going to be excited to see me. <laughs> He's literally sitting in his cage. 
he only loves my mom. So I would show you a really cute reaction, but he's not gonna even bat an eye about me. You'll see. You're so cute. Okay, let me figure out how to get this contraption open. And there he goes. <laughs> Literally going down the stairs to find my mom. Doesn't even care about me. No, don't even pretend. Don't pretend. <laughs> You're hopping around like the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Good morning. I didn't film anything that we did last night, but we just had a trivia night. Now we're getting dressed, ready for the day. My mom is wrapping up some things that she sold in her little online store. Little? Little? You mean successful, huge, full of bargain store? <laughs> Yeah, we're doing that. Um, so she's gonna bring that stuff to the post office. We're gonna go to Georgetown and do a little shopping. Definitely I don't know. Little. Yeah, <laughs> definitely little for that one. Um, a little shopping and maybe get some Botox tonight. Shh. We well, don't do that. They know. It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, that's just the tea for today. It's beautiful outside. It's gonna be a great day. This is my outfit if anyone cares. Got the Vans on, Boston Bruins shirt, hashtag sports. So yeah. Not the, name one player on the team. The good, the best one. one yeah, and his name is? John. Really? Yeah. And his last name is? Brown. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, now we're in Georgetown. Mom's too cool with her glasses on. <laughs> just left I hope you enjoyed all the dresses turn left. that I tried on turn left Oops. Wisconsin Avenue Northwest I was able to get a couple of them but there were some that were just so freaking high-end that they were like six or seven hundred dollars luckily there's a good enough range where I actually was able to get some but you know, Dolce & Gabbana is not really on my budget at the moment. Maybe one day, but, but not today. If it is your budget, it's really There's a crisis. A lot. I mean, you saw the montage, Chanel, YSL, like you name it, it's there. She had it. Now we are going back home to let out the dog, my brother, the dog, and my one and only son, her sweet angel. And then we are going to Bethesda, Maryland. Um, to get some Botox, which I would never. You guys know I've had lip filler, but I always just get a little bit for this little line right here, just a one little injection or two, and we're 
keeping it moving so that's what we're gonna actually, do actually that's the point is to not keep it moving <laughs> right we're keeping it frozen <laughs> um so yeah that's what we're doing with the day maybe i'll show you what dresses i got but at the moment they're in that huge they're bag back there. oh and what did i get oh hermes scarf she amazing. got an hermes scarf just amazing just quite beautiful i really think i'm living my best life right now Sitting on the roof, eating a mini pita bread. <laughs> really though, my parents actually have the craziest view ever. Let me show you. That is the monument. So since I don't have a porch or a patio where I live. I'm soaking it up, baby. And I have Cubby out here. Cubby! He's a baby. <laughs> He's sunbathing too. This is not for you. <laughs> I am I'm in an auto glass place getting my windshield replaced because I cracked it. Um, and I have a feeling I'm gonna be here for a very long time. So I'm just gonna settle in to my chair. Yeah. I can get the one with the antenna if you want. It's 189 okay. plus time. Okay, bye. <laughs> Good morning. It is Wednesday. All I did yesterday was get my windshield fixed and then I did absolutely nothing so that's all that you saw but today I have to be a little bit more productive. Um, it is 7.22 and I have to be at physical therapy at 8.30 but I also need to be ready for work by then because I have to go to work straight after so I'm running a little bit behind. <laughs> But it's raining and it's just like, dreary. It's literally dark outside. It's so cloudy and overcast. So it was so hard to get out of bed. I'm just going to do super, super quick makeup today because I'm literally only going to be on air for three minutes. <laughs> Perfect. My camera died and now this phone is on 2%. So I'm just going to see you guys later. Until then to get ready and fast <laughs> i just pulled up to physical therapy i don't know if i can record in there but i really don't do anything fun i just do like stuff with my elbow <laughs> i don't know look how gross it is outside Ugh. my hair is it's just gonna be a mess i just know it these earrings um i got these from my grandma in case anyone's wondering it's a place in georgia i think they make these out of like leather how cute are they very cute, very cute! Okay, let's um, go get a little workout in. Not a workout, but a stretch. Okay, I'm at work now. I'm eating a cutie. It's pouring rain, and of course I forgot my dress in my car. So, I'm gonna have to go get that. Not looking forward to it. I actually have a really cool promo shoot tomorrow, um, which I will show you that as well. I'm gonna wear one of my new dresses that I got this weekend. All right. I'll see you guys when the noon show starts. Possible passing showers as well, but for the most part, a dry day. So tonight we go back down to 50 degrees with partly cloudy skies. For tomorrow, we're looking at a high around 78 degrees. Very, very. Okay, I'm home now. Had a random burst of energy and cleaned up a bit, but let's go through the dresses that I got yesterday. She wrapped all of them so cute. The first one is this beautiful like fuchsia magenta one and it has this kind of little detail, some pleats at the front, um, but this is a Hugo Boss dress. This one is my fave, which you guys saw in the try on. I'm like, I die for this dress. This is an Alice and Olivia dress um, and it's just a little red kind of sheath dress, but it has a high neckline. It reminds me of like 
Twiggy. I'll put a picture of Twiggy right here and the stuff that she wore. This gives me big Twiggy vibes. The next one is a Tory Burch dress, which <laughs> amazing. It has these cute little pocket details. My mom bought this for me. I love her. Thank you so much. These were early birthday presents. And I have a ton of Calvin Klein dresses. You know I do. I have like 50 Tahari, Calvin Klein, you name it. And they're all great dresses, but there's tons of them out there. So sometimes it's cool to have kind of like one of a kind dresses. Not even one of a kind, but um, from like more high-end brands. It's nice to have a few because the Calvin Klein dresses, I'll probably give them away one day, but I am gonna have this dress forever because it's so nice. And the last dress is a, let's see, Roland Moray. And it's blue. So you guys saw me try all these on, so it's no surprise, but yeah, black on the back and blue on the front. I was gonna go to the grocery store, but that is literally the last place that I wanna be today. For my shoot tomorrow, they told me to wear a red dress. So I think I'm gonna wear my Alice and Olivia one. I'm gonna wear my hair just like this, probably wavy because it's gonna be pretty humid and I just don't wanna deal with straightening my hair for it to just curl back up. Good morning, it is 7.30, no, 8.30, it's 8.30. I just jumped in the shower really quickly to rinse off any extra tan, which, I mean, honestly, how do you tan your hands well? I, I don't, it never works for me, but my body looks better, just my hands, not so much. Um, I'm making some coffee real quick. I don't know how I let the time get away from me. I literally woke up at eight o'clock and I don't know how it's 8.30. I think it's because I snoozed my alarm a couple of times, but I have to be at the station at 9.30 on the dot for this shoot, so I gotta put it in high gear. But my hair is just up in clips, but it's done. I'm just using the same curls from yesterday. And just gotta throw in some makeup, and we're Gucci Goober. Here's breakfast. Waffles with peanut butter and frozen berries. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the same curls from yesterday as a guide and just brush this out. See, this actually looks okay. Like, doesn't this look okay? Let's do a couple really light curls because I like my hair better the second day anyways. Hair is done. I'm just going for it to fall just a bit more. Throw some tees in it and yeah, then we're done. So now we're moving on to makeup. this moment because I feel so cute right now I usually hate how I look on promo days because something inevitably inevitably goes wrong but like look at my dress <laughs> there's got some gold earrings on curled the hair and I'm late so I gotta go but talk to you later high for tomorrow definitely a 10 out of 10 tomorrow's high 82 degrees a beautiful day to spend some time outside you'll probably want to pack some sunscreen as well all right i am back from work now it's about 2 30 i have been glued to severe weather coverage um at the moment it is march 25th there is a level five out of five risk for severe weather in alabama they've already seen um, a couple of tornadoes today but the latest one is hitting really close to home for me um, it is where my sister lives, my boyfriend lives, my best friend lives um, where this tornado is headed. So I am watching multiple coverage 
multiple types of coverage. I'm watching a couple of stations in Alabama. I'm watching it on my laptop. I usually have a second station on my work phone and then I'm looking at radar on my personal phone. It also helps me to learn more by watching severe weather coverage. I'm learning more about my profession, um, picking up things that I should say when I'm doing severe weather coverage or things that I could do better. Um, so this is kind of a learning experience, but also it hits really close to home for me. All right, it's now five o'clock. I just ordered some Thai food. I'll show you what I got. First off, spring rolls are my favorite food ever. I have started making them on my own, um, but it's basically rice paper and it has veggies in it, um, cucumbers, noodles, carrots, lettuce, and tofu. And then it comes with like this peanut sauce. I could eat probably 25 of these. And then I also got some noodles to go with it. This is Pad CU, I believe. Um, just like clear noodles with veggies and tofu in it as well. Still watching severe coverage. There was a really close call with a tornado near my family and friends, but everyone that I know is safe. Unfortunately, others were not as lucky. The damage is catastrophic. Homes literally reduced to absolutely nothing but matchsticks. So my heart and my prayers are with Helena and Pelham specifically. Those are the cities um, most affected by the tornado in Birmingham. We're in the Birmingham area. Just for reference, it's south of the metro. I'm gonna watch some Jersey Shore in the background. Things are kind of quiet at the moment, but if anything picks back up, I'll be watching the weather. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>